Alert drivers may have noticed the annual license plate stickers in Illinois look a little bit different this yeah, year. Yeah, instead of the month and the last two numbers of the year on the stickers, uh, this year the sticker just has a 23 on it for the year 2023 and the word Illinois. The change is due to supply chain issues. Dave Drucker is the spokesperson for the Illinois Secretary of State's office. He joins us now. Dave, good to be with you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Dina. Good to see you both. So if memory serves, uh, you, you guys updated the stickers within the last couple of years that actually put license plate numbers and specific information on there to try to cut down on fraud. What happened yes. this year? That, that's correct. Uh, we were a victim, like uh, most of the world, of uh, supply chain uh, uh, problems. And uh, the company that we used to buy the paper was unable to uh, find uh, the, the sort of paper we need to create those stickers. So we took what I, I feel was, uh, was a rough situation and, and, and made it very workable. And so as you described it, Ben, we, we do have those stickers that are on uh, the back plate of the car that has uh, the year and, uh, um, you know. Dave, because it's they're- It's functioning well. Yeah, but because they're so generic, do you think there's a greater likelihood that people will be a victim of theft? Well, we're not hearing that to, uh, to be the case, uh, Dina. Uh, you know, hopefully that this situation will be resolved uh, in, in the near future and hopefully next year that uh, we can go back to the old system. There's no question we prefer the old system, but uh, there just really weren't, uh, weren't any other options to, to doing this that were nearly as good as this. Is Illinois the only state impacted by this? No, no. Actually, this has been a problem throughout the, the country, uh, with different uh, different states. I know in Minnesota, the, 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 they've had some issues uh, do, doing this too. Now, this, this has been a, a national problem with uh, DMVs around the country. I know with mine, it stares at me all the time, and I say, "Uh oh, this month, I better you know get my new sticker." Will you send out emails or something to alert people? Uh, yes, we are continuing to do that. Uh, I also would, would point out that when you got the old sticker, there was uh, a card that came with it, a registration card. That had the information on it, the expiration date. And, and people uh, really should keep that in the glove compartment uh, in their automobile. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do have a phone number here, too, in case for uh, people who maybe have lost that card. Uh, if they want to know when their expiration date is, they, they can call 800-252-8980. Uh, uh, and, and someone would be able to tell them the uh, uh, date of expiration. And Dave, while we have you here, the pandemic has caused all sorts of issues for the Secretary of State's office, other, other government agencies, and I know deadlines for things like real IDs and driver's license and IDs all get extended and pushed back. Can you just kind of give us a quick run through on uh, what people need to know? Sure, good question, Ben. Uh, we have extended the deadline for driver's licenses, standard automobile licenses, and uh, um, identification cards to December 1st uh, of, of this year. Uh, this is meant because of the pandemic to give people an extra opportunity uh, to, to get into the office. And, uh, and as we get closer, the real ID date hasn't changed in some time. That, that's mandated by the federal government, the Department of Homeland Security. And that day is May 3rd of 2023. So there's, there's time on that. But we wanted to give people an, an opportunity in a, a comfortable manner to be able to get into the facilities and, mm. and, uh, and, and do their work. And uh, in a number of cases, uh, when we're dealing with seniors, there's an automatic retesting process involved. So while we would encourage people to go online, um, you know, the fact is, is that uh, people who are seniors, 75 and up, uh, do have to come in uh, and retest. All right, Dave Drucker with the Secretary of State's office. Good information, thank you so much. Thank you very much.